Will North Country New York voters pick a new U.S. Senator on Election Day? Retired New York City Police Detective Republican Mike Sapricone is taking on incumbent Democratic U.S. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand. For the first and only time, both candidates debated in Albany. Our Plattsburgh Bureau Chief Alec Lasham was there and tells us where the candidates stand on the issues that matter to you. New York's congressional candidates vying for a seat in the U.S. Senate took the debate stage this week at the University at Albany, focusing on things like the economy, international conflicts, and immigration. Democratic incumbent U.S. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand squaring off against Republican newcomer Mike Sapricone. The candidates focused on household issues like housing and jobs. We need to build more housing. We need a lot more incentives for building housing. Uh, we need to make sure that uh, we put federal resources into it to use all the programs for seniors, for low-income people. I have a bill to put $150 billion into that. We need to bring more industry. I mean, we need to stop stopping industry from coming here. We need to rebuild these cities. And we need, that's how we keep our children here. That's how we build up our economy. We need to bring small businesses in, make sure they get the incentives they need, and work with them to build a better, stronger business and employ more people. On immigration, Sapricone wants more to be done on the southern border and record apprehensions along the northern border. We need to deport the people that are here illegally who are criminals and start with that and then take it from there on each individual basis. But that's what we need to do, secure our borders, put the people who are criminals who are here as criminals and begin to deport them. Gillibrand agrees migrants who commit crimes should be deported, but adds lawmakers need to do more, like provide additional resources for border patrol, increase the number of asylum judges, and allow migrants to work. It is most important that people who come to this country who are seeking asylum and are trying to follow the legal process are working. That is what's always worked in New York. It would benefit every part of our economy. And I'm going to work with the governor and I'm going to work with the White House to get those emergency visas issued. Sapricon also highlighted issues passing the farm bill, which is delayed due to funding concerns. I think we need people to work across the aisle to make sure that they understand what the bill is and to work together with our farmers. I mean, agriculture is so big here in New York and in the Midwest. These are important things that we need to pass. Gillibrand says she agrees, but doesn't believe in cuts to SNAP benefits, which she says have been proposed. We have kids in foster care who should be eligible for SNAP benefits because when they age out at 18, there's no family to go home to for Thanksgiving dinner or for a meal or for a weekend at all. And so we need to expand SNAP benefits. Looking at foreign policy, both candidates say they do not support Ukraine surrendering land to Russia and agree to Israel's right to defend itself. Israel's not just fighting a war for Israel. They're fighting a war for us. They're fighting a war against for the West. Who's going to be next in what's going on with Iran? If Israel decides they need to target some part of Iran's infrastructure for nuclear weapons, for missile production, uh, some cyber response, it's absolutely in their right to do that. Early voting in New York starts this Saturday. Reporting in Albany, Alec Lasham, Channel 3 News.